Hello friends, Neil here, EMF Safety Zone channel. I'm going to do a video today, try to answer some questions in regards to EMF protection devices. I, I need to be careful with my opinions because my opinions are very strong about EMF protection devices. I have people contacting me all the time, sending comments, emails, calling me, asking me, does this EMF protection device work? And does this sticker work? And does this Shungite or Organite work? Will it protect me? And I really want to emphasize something to all of you. Save your money. Just don't waste your money. But first, I just want to show you something, okay? I used to be a distributor for Rayguard products. This is an EMF protection device. Allegedly, it sits here on my desk. Um, this is a Q-Link. Some of you have seen them. Uh, they're advertised all over the internet. When I fly in airplanes, I wear the Q-Link. When I fly in airplanes, I wear another. This is a Rayguard device as well that allegedly takes the EMF into the magnet and the coils and keeps it off your body. Do I think any of these things work? No, I don't. I hope they do. And I wear them. I, I rarely use a cell phone, but I have an EMF protective device on it that's supposed to be a good one. I have this yellow sticker over my phone number because I don't remember my cell phone number because, again, I rarely use it. So I put that thing on my cell phone and I hope it does something. I really hope the companies that make them are telling the truth. But I have to tell you, I don't think any of them work. And here's the reason. How are any of these devices going to stop our bodies from being penetrated by microwave radiation? Think about it logically. It's so obvious. If you have a cell tower in the distance and it, it has a very high exposure level hitting your body with microwave radiation, do you think a little pendant or a, a little device on the back of your phone is going to put a big protective shield around your body and stop your body and your blood-brain barrier from being penetrated from microwave radiation, it's not going to happen. Everybody wants to have a magic pill, something magic, a, a magic crystal, a magic stone, organite, shungite. Everyone wants something to protect them so they don't have to change their wireless habits. All right, I'm going to say that again. I'm going to repeat myself. Everyone wants the magic answer so they don't have to exercise the discipline to change their wireless habits. We need to not have wireless radiation inside of our homes. We need to not live next to cell phone towers. We, we can't go looking on the internet for every company that's selling a $1,200 EMF protection device and telling you it's protecting you for 300 yards all around you. It's a lie. The whole thing is a lie. Listen, I love stones. Here's a really nice black tourmaline. It's a bit faceted naturally. It's great. I love this stone. It's very grounding. It's very powerful. I have it sitting on my desk. I like, I like black tourmaline. Here's a black tourmaline massage one that I use for acupressure using it on the body and on the muscles. I like black tourmaline, okay? So you can see I'm open-minded. I like stones. I like minerals. I have EMF protection devices here. Here's another thing I use. This is something I got from China. It's got um, an antenna on it, and it pulses out. I think you can see there's a little blue light. Yeah, there's a little blue light on the back that's showing that it's blinking, if you can see that. And this pulses out a 7.83 Schumann resonance. I've measured it with my meters. It does have a little bit of a resonance coming out of it. It's very low. It allegedly changes the environment a little bit. So I like these toys, but I don't even for a minute think that they're going to protect me from EMF radiation. Now, I don't have any wireless in my home here. And as you can see, I have 
Swiss Shield Naturel RF shielding up on two walls to block the pulses from a military radar about 30 miles from here, which I can measure. This kind of material is scientifically provable. It works. It has metal elements in it. These, these are the baseball hats that I sell that have RF shielding inside of them. Well, this is actually organic cotton. The RF shielding is underneath this. But I wear these hats when I go into town, all right? And I also, I also provide these to customers, which is a very high content silver fiber fabric that is a hood that goes over the head and neck area. These products work, they're provable. You can validate them with a unidirectional microwave meter. This kind of stuff, you can't prove. It's all, it's all, it's all subtle energy. You can prove it with, with, with muscle testing, or the company can give you all kinds of claims that they can't prove, and then we can hope we're being protected. But I, I really have to tell you, we're not. Nothing is going to save us from bad wireless habits. The wrong habits, the laziness, addiction to wireless devices, nothing is going to save us from this. And I really want to convince you to save your money, to not go spending money on every new EMF protection device, because I notice that even really... Um, Honest people who we trust, I won't name any names, but big people who are in the business, who write books, they're selling EMF protection devices and swearing by them, and all it is is another toy that's not going to protect anyone. What's going to protect us is the correct use of wireless devices, which means eliminating them. We need to reduce our exposure levels, we need to eliminate wireless devices from our homes and offices. And the other thing I suggest is proximity, which means we need to be as far away from exposure sources as possible. So fine, you know, put an EMF protection sticker or a piece of Shungite or something on the back of your phone and pray to the universe that it does something, but never think that these things are gonna protect you so you can hold a cell phone to your head and be safe. It's not going to happen. And just remember my other videos, as I've stated in my other videos, if you use a cell phone, go into the settings and disable Bluetooth, disable Wi-Fi, and disable cellular data. On an Android, it's called data. And that will stop the phone from radiating through your body while you're carrying it during the day. That'll cut down tremendous amounts of radiation from the phone and you can still make calls and receive calls and make text and receive text. So that's a very hot tip for the cell phone. So again, please don't be sending me comments on the channel and asking me, does this EMF device work? Oh, what about this one? And what about this sticker that goes on back of the phone? None of them are going to protect you. There's nothing that's gonna put a shield around you. So many EMF protection devices are called shield this or shield that. Nothing is going to shield us. We want to believe that we're going to have a big protective shield around us. It's not going to happen. There's no technology that will do that. So use whatever protection devices you want. You know, use stones, you know, wear your Q-Link and hope that it, that it increases the resilience of the biofield, you know, or other devices might truly be good devices or good products in terms of um, enhancing the subtle biofield of the body, in terms of, of helping strengthen our biofield, our auric field. But please don't think you're going to buy something and stick it on the back of your phone or put some kind of a big pyramid in your house and then your whole house is safe and you can use wireless devices. It's not going to happen. And I'm very strong in my opinions because I take protecting people seriously. I get calls and emails every single day from people who are suffering. And this is a very 
very dark issue. The, the, the wireless issue is very dark. It's insidious. And we need to be very intelligent, very aware, and very conscious of the products we're using, that they work, that they're real, you know, again, such as EMF shielding clothing that has high silver fiber fabric in it. That's just simply scientific. It's provable. But all these new age devices that people want to sell are highly doubtful. Save your money. I hope this video has been helpful. Thank you for watching.